so this whole thing of high functioning anxiety or or as achievers like to call stress and and for me that the wake up call came at the, in my late twenties when I woke up one morning with half of my face was numb. And over the weeks to come, it went down my arm, down, down my leg. Um, I had all yeah, brain scans, x-rays, blood tests galore. They couldn't find anything wrong with me at all. They told me at one point I had MS and, and then they told me, oh no, it's not MS after all, by which time I was so scared that I was going to end up disabled and, and not being able to fend for myself which was my worst ever fear having to be rely on other people when I was a strong independent woman that didn't need anybody to suddenly have to think well what if I end up having to rely on others so then they just said no it's not it's just stress sort stress out go and learn to meditate or something but of course how can you do that how can you go and learn to meditate when your head is full of chaos and stress I didn't want to be alone with my head I don't want to sit there with it I certainly don't want to feel anything that's happening below where all the anxiety is so I couldn't do it and it didn't work and I went to I had various doctors I went to try different therapies I went to a psychiatrist um, none of them they all said well there's nothing wrong with you can't really help you um, but this was back in the 80s when they didn't really understand about the mind body thing it was only really coming coming about then that actually the mind and the body are linked and you need to work with both um and so i i finally got into the right kind of therapies that work for me and that's the things i've trained in now to help others <laughs>